Today I'm going to give you eight additional items that you might want to consider as add-on costs before you build your post frame home or barn. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Paul from CountryCraziness.com. This channel is all about post frame construction, tractors, and homesteading. If you share those interests, consider subscribing and also consider submitting a video on how those subjects relate to your life. There's a full description down below to tell you how you can do that. Today I want to give a special shout out to Jack McDonald, the president and owner of Milmar Pole Buildings in LaGrange, Indiana. Many of the thumbnails that you see on this channel are buildings that his company has built. I want to thank him for providing those for us over the last year. Uh, we put a link of Jack's information down below. If you're anywhere in the LaGrange County, LaGrange, Indiana area, and you'd like somebody to build you a post frame home or barn, I'll put the information down below on how you can contact him. Okay, I've got eight items on here that I think are things that you want to at least consider before you build your post frame home or barn. The first item that I would definitely do that I feel very strongly about is using a laminated column rather than just a solid wood post. It's going to run truer to size and it's also going to be much stronger. You can expect to increase your material cost for a laminated column by about 1.3%. The second thing that I feel very strongly about is having a method for preventing the post from touching the soil directly. Now there's about five different ways that you can do that and the costs are going to vary greatly depending on what choice you make. There's a video on five good ways to prevent post rot. I'm going to put a link of that video down below in the description. The next item that I think would be a good investment would be to invest in skirt board covers. Skirt board cover is going to run you about $200 for each 100 feet that you need in order to protect all the skirt boards going around your building. The next item to consider is whether or not you want to use premium steel on the job. Premium steel is going to give you a thicker material and it's also going to give you a longer paint warranty. However, that comes with a big cost associated with it and I'm just not sure that it's worth the extra money. If you do just the roof, it's going to cost you about 6% additional. If you do just the walls, it's going to cost you an additional 8%. It just seems to me that it might be money better spent in other places. Next, I would consider overhangs all the way around the building. It's going to improve the ventilation, it's going to improve the drainage, and it's going to improve the looks of the building. I made a video about this subject, and I'm going to put a link down below in the description. You can expect to pay anywhere from 8% to 13%, depending on how many walls you go around and how deep the soffit's gonna be. The next item that I would consider is gutters. Just like soffits, gutters and downspouts are very important in terms of improving the drainage of your building. It's gonna cost you anywhere between two to 4% to put up some good quality gutters. The next item that I would consider doing, and it's almost a no-brainer, is to put a wainscot around it. It's only going to add about 1.4% to the total cost. It looks so much better than if you do a building without it. It gives you the ability to separate it into two tones. I think it's a no-brainer. I put a video together on cupolas. I put a link down below. You don't need the functionality of a cupola at all with a modern barn that has a ridge vent. It's really a decorative type item for the most part. Depending on the size, what kind of finial that you put on it, uh, it's going to cost you anywhere from $500 on up. Uh, you really have to determine the size of your building and the size of the cupolas. Check out that cupola video to find out more. That's my eight items that I would consider before building your pole barn. Thanks for watching. Stay well.